my acrylic collection along with my glitter and gel and paint and all that sort of stuff by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing my acrylic collection and this isn't just going to be acrylic, it's also going to be my paint, my gel, all, a lot of my artsy stuff, um, anything like that. If you're looking for brushes though, there's a separate video for that and I'll put a link to those in the description box below as well as how I store my stuff. So I hope you like this and I hope you find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos as well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is all my acrylics. So this is going to be all my acrylic from CND. I have their pure white and I have their intense pink. And for the most part, my CND acrylic is because I got that in school and so I have it because it came in my kit. Um, I did replace though my clear. So for clear, I've got the smaller jar and then I also have the big one to replace it with because I go through clear like mad because I pretty much use clear on every single design I do. And so that's why I've got the two. I just refill the smaller one when I empty it out with the bigger jar. And then I've also got their natural sheer. This is the reason it says acrylic powder on is because I had to label it for taking my state board exams. Uh, but that's the natural and I use that one when I do my grandmother's fills. So then for the Artfinity acrylic from Koopa, I have this gorgeous one and I don't know the colors exactly um, Like off the top of my head and I'm looking at them and they don't they aren't labeled very well I will try to list them in the description box below because as I said, it's really hard to see and I've got that gorgeous pale blue You'll see me using that one in a ton of my videos and for my Koopa acrylics. I really do love Koopa as a brand in general. I have Quite a bit of stuff from them. I have quite a few colors of acrylic and I also have my e-file is by Koopa and that um, the glitter one there it doesn't show how gorgeous it is in the video whatsoever that color is stunning and I'm trying to think of the name because I should know that one off the top of my head and I don't so is that one all of their their glitter acrylics are just stunning there's so much glitter in there that it's just it's really intense oh that one's easily labeled that one's winter wonderland once again there's so much glitter it's gorgeous it's amazing and so there's their gold it's like a soft orangey gold or a warm gold and so for the Artfinity, there's only one color of acrylic I'm not too happy with. It's this one, and I I wish I knew. I think it's called Grape Juice, maybe? Um, that one is a little less pigmented than the others. Otherwise, they're all amazing. So then their Divinity is they're going to be like the, the nail acrylic for what you would sculpt with, whereas the Artfinity is going to be for doing art. Obviously, it's going to be their 3D acrylic. So this one is just a nail bed color, and it's really pretty as well. So then this is my Young Nails Acrylic. That one is warm gold and it is so similar to the Koopa Gold. I, w I keep hoping I'm going to get a metallic gold and I never do. So then here is their metallic silver and this is metallic. You can, I'll show the side of the jar in a second and I'll show you how metallic it is. And the reason I do have Young Nails products, not because I think they're the best or I actually like them. I think they're expensive, frankly. Um, where I live, there isn't a very good nail supply store at all, and so I pretty much get what I can if I need a color of acrylic immediately. As you can see, that was on clearance. That's why I got that one. Um, and Young Nails is like the only artsy acrylic brand around that I can just go into a store and buy, which is why that I end up buying it when I need a color immediately. It used to be where Sally's had some colors, and so this is where I got the super nail. I got this at Sally's or at Sally Beauty Supply, and it was on clearance. And I got it in three kits. The first kit is they're just traditional colors. So there was a white called White Russian, a black rain cloud, that, or not black rain cloud, just rain cloud. It's gray, and then diva in black. All of these colors are super nail. That's a really low end brand. It is not something fancy. And in fact, I don't even know if they exist anymore. I know that Sally's no longer carries them, which is why when I got all this stuff, it was a steal because it was all on clearance. And so there's a couple purples in there, a lilac and karma. And usually I like to swatch my colors on the tops or the sides of my jars. So there's that one's called Daydreamer. That's a blue. But like I said, these are really low end acrylics. I got these when I first graduated from or first got my license and I got them because I wanted to venture into doing more 3D nail art. And I thought, hey, this is a good way to tip my toe dip my toe in the water and so I grabbed these and it was a really really good deal I it was amazing it was like a, I don't know I think there was some sort of karmic influence in there that got me to Sally's at that moment to get these acrylics because if that didn't happen I probably wouldn't 
wouldn't do all the 3D that I do because it would cost me an arm and a leg to get started. But I was fortunate enough to get these. And even though they are a low-end acrylic, I find that besides a couple issues with pigment being like a burst of pigment because it's not very intermixed, I have always had luck. And they work pretty well for me and they're what I learned with and it wasn't as bad as I thought. I feel in general brushes, the quality of brush is more important than the quality of acrylic. And so yeah. So now I'm doing, this is the same thing, it's Super Nail on Kit, but it's their Neon collection that I got forever ago, even clearance more than the other one. And for the most part in this kit, there's a matte color and there's a sparkly color. And so that are very close to the same thing. They match pretty well. And so there's one in each of them and it, the glitters don't show up in the video. It makes me so upset because one of the colors in every single thing that I'm going to be showing you is super sparkly. You just can't tell. So in this one, the refreshing limeade, which is the one that's on the right is the glittery one. You can see it a little bit. It's just a hint there, but these bright colors really are bright. The sparkly ones are a little bit, a little bit sheer. They're like semi-transparent and so you can see them a little bit, but that makes it really easy to do gradients if that's sort of like the, I don't know, the silver lining because you can wash over stuff and it just smooths out really well. So there's a pretty wide variety of rainbow colors and there's purple, pink, yellow, orange, green, blue, all the good stuff. This uh, neon color kit is probably my most used of these because I love bright things. And so yeah. There's those, and this is the last one for whatever reason. There isn't a sparky, sparkly blue one, but there is an extra sparkly orange that's a little different than the other one, so I just threw those together because they're the oddballs out. And so that's my artfinity of the bright color, or not art, that's the Super Nail bright colors. So now the very last one that is from Super Nail is going to be this Glitterize kit. So this is all kinds of glittery acrylics, and I love glitter, so it works out really well for me. So there's... They're all in a semi-transparent base once again, and I'm just going to stir them to try to show you some of the glitters that's in there because it's so hard to see. This one's called Paparazzi, and it's got a sheer pink base with just a whole bunch of little like bar glitters and all kinds of stuff like that. This one's Green Mist. It's got a clear base with some silver and some green glitter in it. I used this one in the background of my panda video from a while ago, and I've used it a couple other times. It's really pretty. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I think behind my Simba, I also did that color. This one's called Key Lime. I've actually only used this once because I forget I own it. That's the awesome thing about doing this. I was really reluctant to make these videos because I did this one, and then I also did my brush collection and my storage, and I was extremely reluctant to make them because it seemed like I was going to be taking this time and I wasn't going to get anything artsy out of it if there wasn't anything, I don't know, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I did actually get quite a bit out of this because it was like I got reunited with all these products that I had that I kind of forgot existed. Same thing with this one, this one's called Decked Out, it is stunning and I can't wait to use it for like New Year's because it's a clear base with all kinds of gold glitter in it, it's gorgeous. And so here's Dazzle Me, in fact after I looked through all these glitter acrylics that I own that I kind of forgot I did. Oh, I didn't really forget. I just, I don't know. Sometimes you need to get reacquainted with all of your acrylic. Um, I use, I'm, I'm using them all. I just did a set of woodland creatures and I used one of these. I'm trying to think which one it was. Um, but I was like, Hey, I should use those. Why don't I use them? I love these. So this is pink lemonade. This color looks awesome. If you're doing like a really glitzy nail bed, because it's a sheer pink, but it's got loads of glitter in it. This celestial blue is so pretty. And I know I'm saying that about pretty much everything here. Um, but that one, it gets a lot deeper once it's in a bead. Oh, snowflake. This is the one that I just used recently. No, it's not. It's a different one. It's a different clear one. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's several flaunt it. That's the one. This is definitely the one that I was using. It's just got huge hexagon glitters in it that I didn't put it over black, but I'm going to soon because I swatched it on the lid after when I was using it later and it looked so cool against the black of the lid. It was amazing. This flutterbly, flutterbly. Yeah, that's it. Flutter, flutterby, flutterby, not flutterbly. Oh dear. Um, that one has a whole bunch of bar glitters in it, which is why I don't use it as much because I don't like bar glitter. This is acrylic powder I have from Born Pretty Store. Um, it's a lot thicker than some other acrylics that I have, so I don't use it as often. Plus, I find that if I use it on my own nails, it lifts really fast. 
but I do use it for things that aren't as important, if that makes sense. This is the monomer I'm currently using. It is obviously MMA free and it's no lift nails. I got this because it was less expensive and so far so good. I don't have any complaints about it. I find it sets a little faster than I'm used to though. So here are the gels that I have. This is Breezelite Gel by c and I have their, their pink one. It's, I'm trying to think if I can see, it's called Intense Pink. And the other builder gel or the other hard gel I own, or it's natural pink, is their Pure White. So this is why I don't do gel videos. I know people have requested that I do gel videos a couple times in the past, and I don't own much for gel. I've got two colors, and the reason I have them is because I got them in school. I don't use them very often. Gel's not my favorite medium. Okay, I'm glad I have three. This is a little sample that I got from Light Elegance once through Nails Magazine, and so it's gorgeous, and I have actually used that on occasion. I used it on my Dragonfly this summer. Um, but I don't have much for gel. I don't have clear gel, which makes it really hard to do stuff with, and gel's expensive, so I've been kind of procrastinating on getting any. If I do build up my gel collection in the future, though, I will start creating some gel videos here and there. I do prefer acrylic, though. These are my gel paints as I use in so many of my videos. They're from LV May off eBay. They're about $4 a jar or so. Price changes constantly. I have white and black. Um, for, in general, I like these. They are nice and thin, but they don't run in the light, so whatever you paint, it stays painted there, which is really nice, and I use those for quite a bit. This is the uh, gel sealer I'm currently using. It's from Koopa once again. Um, the reason I'm using it is because when I bought a whole bunch of Koopa products, it was free. Uh, but it's been lasting me quite a while. It's just like any other gel sealer. I find it's nice and glossy, which is good. And it's uh, wipe free, which is awesome. So this is, now I'm going to work on glitter. This is glass glitter. And this is from Recollections, which is again from Michaels. And it's little tiny glass shards, but they're not sharp. It's, they're a little bit rounded and smooth. And this glitter looks amazing in clear acrylic. I did, on a front of mine, I just did a clear nail with some of that glitter in it and oh it was amazing these are two additives i have from c and d that were on clearance once at cosmoprof and so the first one i use quite a bit you see me using probably really often i just used it on the poppy troll in the background it makes everything look like an opal it is really really pretty and so that one's the first one and then the second one is just it's a pink pigment it doesn't look nearly as shimmery in the jar as it does on which is why i'm swatching it on my hand. It's really iridescent. I don't use that one nearly as much. I don't know why. I just kind of forget I have it. So now here's my glitter and this is from Michaels. I got a whole bunch of glitter on clearance once in these little packets so then I just put them in jars. But these two first are from Super Nail. So that's again clearance from Sally's. And I have a black one's called New Moon and then a red one called Liquid Lava. And so now for all my glitters. I have, I show, I'm going to show these two twice because I first was going to do it farther away, but then I decided I'd bring it close up. These are the glitters that I got from Michaels that were on clearance, which is kind of a reoccurring theme here. I buy things on clearance. I have built this collection up over the past two years, mostly with stuff that I have found when it's either been on an extreme sale or clearance because I don't, there are some people, I've known people in my time that are, it's like they've got a fear of clearance and they think that products that aren't clearance are somehow less worthy. I don't know why that, I mean, everyone has their own opinion. I love clearance. It's awesome. If I can get five products for the price that it would normally cost me to get one, I am all over that. So that's kind of how I feel about, about things. And so generally speaking, I don't buy things right off the bat. I'll wait and see if they go on sale or clearance and then I'll get them, which is why I my glitter, I have so much glitter, but probably the whole thing cost me $5 because I bought it when it was all so cheap. And so these are all of the glitters and I got these little jars on eBay for, I don't remember how much it was, not that, not that much at all. And the container that I keep my glitter in is just a um, pencil box from the office store when it was on clearance after school supply season. And so yeah, these are all the weird little glitters I have and I love glitter, so I use these all the time, and they're in a prominent location that I don't forget I own them. And some of them are a little interesting, and I've got a couple duplicates just because I bought more than one of the little kits when they were on clearance. And so, like, some of these, like this one, they're not so shiny. They're almost more velvety looking. 
and there was a green one and a white one. The white one I used in my beer stein video. And so yeah, I have lots of glitter. I use it for other purposes. The one thing that is a little detail is that because this is not cosmetic glitter, it's for crafts. It's actually kids craft glitter. It's not cosmetically safe, so you won't want to use it on your eyes or anything, but inside a nail it's fine. It's not cosmetic grade though, which is probably why, I mean, for nails I don't think you have to spend an arm and a leg to get cosmetic grade glitter because it's just not necessary. And yeah, and quite a few of these are hollow, which is awesome too. And like I said, there's a lot of them, so this is just going to keep playing and running more and more glitter. Yep. I haven't used all these yet. I've had them for, I'm trying to think, I got them this summer at one point when I was at Michael's. I practically live at that store. I, Michael's and Hobby Lobby, those are, those are my, my hangouts. I'm such an art geek. Uh, so I know when stuff goes on clearance and I just walk around the store, which is how I got these, but otherwise you can get quite a bit of glitter like on ebay you can get just little bundles of glitter for really inexpensive if you don't have a michaels and i know that in different parts of the world there's going to be different stores and i don't know all of the craft stores from everywhere so you know so here are my glow in the dark things these are going to be like a sand almost so i've got five colors but for i forgot one of them in the first part of this so green purple blue yellow and pink the pink is the one that i forgot so there are those ones and I'll put links to videos in the description box where you can see them actually glowing where I've used them. But for now, those are the colors. Here's the pink one that just got ignored earlier. And so now for the glow in the dark pigments that I have, these are from eBay. I have no idea. I've had them for years, for two years. I don't know what seller I got them from. I don't know how much I paid for them. I don't really know anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure my mom got them for me as a surprise. I don't know how what they were um and they work really well which is unfortunate because so many people want to know what they are and i can't tell you because i i don't know there's no label on them there's no label on the bag they came in it's a mystery product unfortunately and there's a bunch of colors and the dark purple that was the previous one that just showed that one doesn't glow very much but all the others do i just my nephew and i did i just did my nephew's nails and they were with the bright green of these glow-in-the-dark pigments um right before it was like a week ago and he went home and he showed his mom my sister and she was shocked because i've said in the past that glow-in-the-dark products don't glow in the dark and they're just a waste of money and time these aren't both the glow-in-the-dark little sand things that are that i showed previously and these pigments they glow and they glow well so if you're interested in glow in the dark sand, that's something that I might look into because it does glow in the dark. It's a little thicker and it's a little more awkward to work with, but it does glow. So this is the matte top coat I use on the majority of all my designs because I like to put matte over my 3D. I think it shows up better that way. And so this is just plain matte top coat, cheap from Walmart. And this is the acrylic paint that I like. I am very particular about my paint. I use Americana craft paint and I like that the best. I don't like folk art at all and I definitely don't like um, Artist Loft. If you're going to get acrylic paint, avoid those brands. It's better to spend the extra 40 cents and get a kind of acrylic paint that's going to be easy to work with and do you well. So I'd say either um, Americana or Apple Barrel. Those are my favorites. And that's it. Check the description box for links to the products that I can give you links to and I will see you in my next video. Bye!